Hey guys, Rizzle here with another episode of Sizzle with the Rizzle. Tonight we're coming at you with uh, another episode, uh, figuring out what is the best time to salt your meat. Does it make a difference? Does it change the texture? Does it change the flavor? When should you do it? Before, during, or after you cook your burgers? So let's figure it out and check it out. It's burger time. So like I said, we have three different methods of salting your meat. The first is going to be in the meat before we form the patties. So this is gonna be a good five minutes or so. Pre-season with some seasoned salt, mix up that ground beef. A little bit of pepper as well and then make those uh, those patties by hand the other two I will season in a minute in the meantime get some tomato slices red onion leave some lettuce why does this video look like it was shot in 1993 on a camcorder I don't know Going with the uh, sesame Kaiser roll today on the buns. As usual, buttering on the inside. Gonna toast them up. This time on our cast iron griddle again. Looks perfect. All right, burger's going down. Burger num number one's gonna be pre-seasoned. Burger number two is going to be seasoned right after we place it. And three is gonna be seasoned afterward. <laughs> so let's put that mayo on the bun. I like me some mayo, not just one side, but two sides. I can almost never have, a, have enough mayo. Oh yeah. All right, they're looking about ready to flip. Nice and juicy. Got some uh, caramelization. Mm, that looks good. All right, let's put them together. Burger number one, already seasoned. Burger number two, also already seasoned. Oh, sorry, that's burger number three. We're gonna season afterward, and there you go. Now let's put it together, some red onion rings. A little bit of tomato slices, leaf lettuce, and there it is. All right, welcome to another episode of Talking Over the Host. I mean, Sizzle with the Rizzle. Tasty tea is rude. It's it's I'm so sorry. Hard. So tonight we have another experiment. We're gonna do a little taste test. Of course, Tasty Tea and Miss Fanny here, my uh, terrific uh, taste testing guests, are. Uh, Completely blind as to what we're doing tonight, so let's see what ended up being the most delicious. Um, let's start off with number one. These are a little bigger than usual. I went with the sesame seed bun. I still managed to let everything fall apart. Um, I think my stacking order of the toppings, I, I'm sure we'll cover that in a different episode, but those Oh, Need man. some work. So <laughs> this time I'm not gonna hand it to you. How about just hand it to you? After you've manhandled it yes, all. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, it's only gonna get worse if I. Oh, I think I, I got most of it. Yeah. I think yeah. So I think what we're learning right off the bat is don't put tomato under your lettuce, which is under your bun, because it just slides all over. Is the there place. a proper? It, well, I believe there is. We'll, we'll test that some episode okay. on stacking order. But yeah, I, there's order. there's some theories like out there. Lettuce versus tomato. On yeah, on, on what order you should put things in. Yeah. All I'm right, sorry, so the first one. Back. Let's dig okay. in. So this is not a cheeseburger, obviously. That so. is... It's not what I signed on for. <laughs> you need to take that shirt off right now. <laughs> I know. Your shirt? <laughs> Nothing but lies. Lies. This is messy. And it has no cheese, no bacon. Yeah, I know it has nothing but lies. 
Mm. Nothing but flies. <laughs> so, I like it. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. do you think about, not to give anything away, mayonnaise? It is <clears> just mayo. So this is kind of a lot like a Whopper kind of direction. Yes. Um, no pickles, no ketchup. And I'll tell you why in, in a little bit. I wanted to not detract from, from, from other things. From the meat? Okay. From other things. This meat. Burger number one. Okay. Okay. Remember that? Burger number two. Oh hey, God, this yeah, one is just very well. No, yeah, this is just bread. We don't have all day. Oh, yeah. come on, Sammy. No way. Warm or gravy? I'm a delicate flower. This is how a lady is a burger. Oh, yeah. I just keep the, the bread and the lettuce. Manners. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Oh. Hmm. I'm not catching a difference. How about the I think texture? The texture of the meat is different. Yeah. I just have um, like a more fine palette. Yeah. <laughs> You're classier. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. So there's a little more, what, crumble? Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a looser patty. Mm -hmm. Does it add be more flavorful? You care? Is it better? Or? I like the other one. So this reminds me of the burgers my mom used to make, which was just hamburger patty and then squished and then just done on a frying pan. Mm -hmm. Baked and crispy and all its own juices. Yeah. Which is not bad. I really like I really like it. Well this is on I mean it's on a cast iron griddle. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Prep. It's oh, really good, but yes, right. the texture is the first thing I notice. Okay. <clears throat> Seasoning. Salt. Salt. Thanks. <laughs> saltier. <laughs> Ver versus oh you think it's saltier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Okay. Besides texture, I don't see anything. Okay. I don't feel anything else different. All right, last one. <laughs> like right at my eyes and did that. Yeah. Really weird. Laser beams. Yeah. What is that supposed to be? I don't know, but I like it. Okay, another falling apart. Man, I am learning from... I just got some pepper. Okay. Well, Notes of pepper. The <laughs> A peppery finish, as it were. <clears throat> okay. Last one, number three. These are all the same weight burgers. I didn't weigh them, but I cut them. You know, pretty close. <laughs> same weight, but we don't were, really know that. <laughs> right, same ish weight. Okay. Okay. Tasty tea's not even weighty. Mm -hmm. Nope, not at all. Not crumbly. No? This out of the way. This is different. I hope it doesn't smell it has like an after. You guys watch The Office? The Oki Afterbird? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. It's an office quote. Um, Way this... to get me to stop eating my burger. Um, a little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. Drier? Hmm. <clears throat> so I just got a big onion taste. So like, I think that mm -hmm. just ruined it. It's kind of overshadowed. Yeah. What is raw onion? Let me, let me get rid of this. We'll try some of this. All right, well. Seems pretty close. Do you think, uh, well, one, you have any guesses? Or sh should we go with what your preference is first? And then we'll talk about what the difference is. One, two, three. Do you care? Are they all kind of even? Doesn't matter. They're all kind of even for me. I didn't, none of them stood out as a big difference. Okay. I would rate them one, two, and three. One being the best. Huh. One and two were very similar. This one, like if I got that burger at your house, I'd be really excited about it. As opposed to this when one, you, when I'd you be got like, it tonight at my house? Right. A different time. <laughs> I was say. In a more <laughs> in a more fun, you know, event. This one I, I would, would be like this one. I would speak to the manager. I'd be like, can you it's okay. Okay. So I'll tell you the difference. I, for me, they're they're kind of even. I think I would yeah, go across, across the board. I would probably go two. Mm. For my two and then I don't know. I'm influenced by what knowing. you know. I would probably go two, three, one, but very close on all. Very close. I would say two would be my favorite, just because it reminded me of my mom's 
Plain okay. That was very reminiscent. It was like uh, the Ratatouille, or she, yeah. <laughs> you you gave me the Ratatouille. <laughs> okay, so the whole difference is when I salted it. So number one, I salted before making the patty. I mixed the salt in with the meat, with meat. and then, then made the patty, um, which should have resulted from the research that I've done a tighter patty, no, which I think it did. It yeah. Did. Um, <clears throat> two, I salted. What I'll call during, put it on the grill and and salted while it was cooking. Ball size flip flip salt salt. Uh huh. Salt salt. Flip flip. And pepper pepper. And then uh, I said that. <laughs> and number I said three, pepper. I salted after the fact. I put it on the the salted oh. it after it was completely done cooking and and you know oops I forgot. Of course I did it on purpose. But if you do happen to forget to salt your patty, you know what happens if you just salt it late? It's not as good. And well, yeah, apparently, yeah, apparently. So. Well, according to I mean, Tasty T no. here, uh, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. To you, no, it like, you're it saying you like a, a, you know, a tighter, tighter patty. Tighter, tighter patty. Yup. Love it. Love tight patty. Love tight patty. That is your, uh, your new slogan. Tasty T and tight patty. Tight patty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew it would come organically. Yeah, sweet. I dig it. Tight patty. Tight is. patty. TP? Oh, TP. Perfect. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We need to work it. We know we need to make sure everybody knows it stands for tight, tight patty. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. that could All right. tight patty. Tight okay, patty. so and you were one, two, so we really are undecided. It, I don't think nothing They're stood out. Uh, previous ones that we've done, there has been way different textures, way different flavors. Yeah. But so I guess if you're gonna salt it and whatever comes down to it, do it do whatever it's convenient for you. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make burger. that big of a difference. Yeah. Um, good to know. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time. And be sure to like, comment, suggest, etc., etc. Till next time. Hashtag tight patty. Rizzle out. <laughs>